Hi guys, I've been on the spend train again. This time I have purchased the Dyson Airwave Hair Styler and in this video I'm going to show you how I use this tool to create a hairstyle like this and a little bit more about it. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Ange and I'm a mature chick who likes to share all things beauty and lifestyle as I navigate my more mature years and share those experiences with you. If that sounds like the sort of content that would interest you, click on the subscribe button down below. I upload videos on a weekly basis and I would love to see you back. Don't forget to click on the notification bell also so that YouTube lets you know each time I drop that new video. Now the Dyson Airwave Hair Styler, I have been tossing and turning for at least two years about this product and the Dyson Hair Dryer. I have coveted both either for quite some time but it is a pretty penny to drop for these products so i've watched lots of videos i've read lots of reviews and what was confusing for me was especially for this item here the hair dryer gets mostly really good reviews and the hairstyler that I actually ended up purchasing, I found for as many positive reviews that I had read on it, there were quite a few meh and negative reviews. And so it was really hard to make a decision without actually trying this product out. Recently, Sephora New Zealand had a 25% off discount for for gold members, which is equivalent to the US VIB Rouge. And I was so, so excited, did, did final homework on, on whether I was going to do this or not. And I decided I would go for the Airwave Styler rather than the hair dryer. I'd gone into a couple of random hair stylists, uh, more upmarket hair stylists, to ask their unbiased opinion. And why I did that was I chose hair salons that didn't sell these, but they used them. And I had a couple of really, really wonderful hairdressers that talked me through, and it was one in particular who said, listen, my friend has the Airwave Styler. I love the hairdryer, so she said, I love the hairdryer and would highly recommend it. It's what we use in the salon here, and she took me around the salon to show me. She said, but my friend has bought the air styler and she couldn't be happier because she gets the hair dryer attachment. Okay, it's not the same as the actual hair dryer, but you have the option of all the other tools. So that actually made up my mind. I went home, popped it in my cart, went to purchase it when the sale went live to find out Dyson wasn't included in the 25% discount. I was gutted, but then again, I was thinking, that is karma telling me I'm not supposed to spend such a large amount of money on one item. But a couple of hours, three hours later, I got an email to say, hey, look, we're not offering you 25% off, but if you are interested, Dyson products are 20% off. And I decided I was so excited to get it with 25% off that I pulled the trigger and I did get it with the 20% off. Now, the only reason I did decide to do it that way was because I also took the afterpay option and being able to pay that off over four weeks. So that just made it a little bit kinder to me and I could pay X amount each pay so that just worked out better for me and why I decided to do it very very spendy item the styler retails for 549 US dollars and 849 New Zealand dollars so taking advantage of a sale 
was key to getting this item. Something else that I have noticed recently is they are selling extra attachments for this tool. So I'm quite excited about that and do hope that that becomes something that we can purchase from New Zealand as I get more competent with using this tool. My main reason for wanting to purchase this brand and this particular styler was that recently I've had my hair a lot more highlighted, a lot more bleached than I have had ever in the past. Normally I just get a half head at the top. In my last visit, my hairdresser did a full head and has done everything underneath as well. And I really want to take good care of it. I don't want it breaking off and I don't want it getting all frizzy and looking dry and brittle. And the Dyson, reading all the documentation or, or what they claim and the reviews, is it is very gentle on your hair. I find the main reason for me that that confirms is I can style and dry my hair with this tool and it's not as hot as my normal tools and I can do that in under 10 minutes. I think that's amazing. I'm not having to blast my hair with a hair dryer and dry it and then use another heated tool on top of that to style my hair and create curls. I'm getting it dried and styled all in one with this tool and that was the, the key reason I wanted to purchase this item. So let's get into my new toy and how I am going to show you how I've styled my hair today, how I do it, what products I use to get a little bit more longevity out of the hairstyle and how I use the attachments. So the whole kit comes in this wonderful case that keeps everything tidy and protected. Now that whole kit of the Dyson replaces all these tools that I was using in my arsenal and I think one of the bonuses for me is every tool had a power cord so it got quite messy, especially if you're wanting to take tools away on a trip or something with all of the power cords. The items I used to use the most was my hairdryer, GHD straighteners. Now unfortunately for me, when I use straighteners, if I use them to, and this is the problem with all the cords, use it to straighten my hair, because of my fine and very lank hair, it just made it even more fine looking. The only thing I could really use the straighteners for was trying to create a curl and I could never get that technique down. I like curling my hair and I had this curling wand which you just twisted around and held. Then what I did use the most for curling my hair, and as you'll see from the video that I posted last week, this is the tool that I used when I was using heated tools to curl my hair. And I also showed you in that video how I could curl my hair in a heatless way without damaging my hair. And I'll leave a link to that video here. But this is the tool that I used to like. And this came with some other attachments, so you could just take the head off. And it had this wand, which really eliminated the one I just showed you, and a larger barrel. So that really was my tool of choice. Very inexpensive, and that's been the tool that I have reached for but it has been damaging to my hair with it being so processed at the moment. So that's all those out of the way. Bringing in the Dyson tool, one power cord for all the different styling tools that come with it, and that is a huge bonus for me. 
So we're going to dry our hair with the Dyson tool today and what I like about this, it's one power cord for all the attachments that you can use. So I, I really like that it eliminates all the tangled mess of cords for having multiple tools. Before we get started, because I am trying to protect my hair, I have been using a heat protectant and any heat protectant that you have in your hair care routine is fine. This one is the L'Oreal Professional Seri Expert, colour 10 and 1. So it's designed for colour treated hair and I'm just spraying it through basically the end of my hair because that's what's most damaged. So what I've also done is I've let my hair air dry just a little bit and that is whilst I was putting on my makeup. The next product that I'm going in with and I'm really enjoying is the Olaplex number 7 bonding oil. I don't put this from roots to, to ends because I have such lank hair and I don't want it looking greasy. So just put a few drops in the palms of my hands, rub the, them together and then I'm just spreading that through my ends. Now this does have heat protecting properties in it as well. Now that has been all I've been using probably for the first two weeks of having this tool. But I went to the hairdressers a couple of days ago to ask what I could use that was good for my type of hair, but also some sort of holding product so that I can get maximum staying power for my style. So for me, I was recommended the Kerastar Stensifique Mousse. So it has a hold to it, but it's sort of really designed for quite fine here to give it a bit more body so that I do put more through the roots of my hair and then just drag it through with my fingers I'm going to go in with just my hairbrush to put that all through and we'll get started with the styling Okay, so I'm taking a wee hair clamp and I'm just going to take the top part of my hair, which isn't a lot, <laughs> and just bunging that up, leaving the bottom bits here. Now I'm just going to show you how I've been styling my hair the last couple of weeks. And that is with these smaller barrels. Now they have arrows on them. And there's two because you use one for each side. The arrows on this one, and they're so easy to clip in. We have a wee button here to release the tool. And you just pop it on and it clicks in to, to use it. Now the arrows, these arrows are pointing that way and that's the way the hair is going to blow around the barrel. You have two sizes of barrels. You have this one here that I use on my fine hair and you also have a slightly larger one if I was to have thicker hair or longer hair. But I use the smaller size. So, clipped in, the buttons on here, you have your fan settings here, you've got three of them, and I've been just using it on the middle setting until I get used to what is best. You have a cold setting on this button here, mid hot, I've been keeping it on the mid, and you've got this little button here, which is quite crucial. Because when you're drying your hair and you've had it in the um, curl, you flick this button up and you do a blast of cold air to set the curl before you release it. So this is quite an important button and I think you definitely don't get 
a curl hold if you don't do that shot of cold air. Then as I said, the button on the back is for changing your tools. This is where the airflow is, and so I don't hold it over that the end. It's got a great swivel cord, and it's just really light and very easy to use. So let's get going. What I'm going to do is time how long it takes me to dry and style my hair. Now, before having this tool, I would have to blow dry my hair, which didn't take long to be fair because my hair is very fine. Didn't take me long to dry, but then I would have to use my curling iron to give myself the curled style that I would be going for. So it definitely was longer than this for me. So I'm going to time and we'll see how long it takes. And away we go. So I'm just going to take a small section at the front here. I'm not fussy, I'm not a hairdresser, not fussy. I'm just showing you how I do it. We'll get it going. So we turn it on, and that's that button that has the cold shot. So using the arrows going away from your face, I just tip a little bit up, wrap around my head, and I do this. I actually take it in and out. Don't need it very long. Shot of cold. There's our curl. Then we grab another section, as I said, I'm not fussy, get it to blow around the ends, I go in and out a couple of times, flip the pole, there we go, and do this one again, flip the pole, Now, I can do it round the back, I tilt it up, but I have to make sure that I get the wrapping around the right way. I hope you can see that. Same thing. Drop of cold. Let it go. Then we switch the tool. Unleash it. Oh. And let it let it go. Next one in. The arrows are going away from my face for this side. Okay, so that's the bottom layer, and that's been 3 minutes 40. Then I've been splitting it down the middle. You can part it any way you're used to parting. I probably might take my brush this time. I usually don't use a brush, I just sort of normally just grab it, and I have switched my barrel to go that way. I tend to do this for the front of my hair. Put it on cold. Let it catch there. And slowly let it go into the head. Turn it off. Other side. Put 
was just checking that all my hair is dry around the back and it is. So that's taken 7 minutes and 45 seconds. So then I'm just going to let it cool. Okay, so once I feel like it's cooled, I just take my fingers and I just rake it through. Now I'm noticing, um, if you are of my age, that the styles are very Farrah Fawcett-esque and I definitely feel that way. I couldn't even do this when I, I was a teenager and wanted to do that. Now I like just keep combing it through so that it is a loose curl but it has body and it's just, I just really like it. Now, if I'm wanting it to last a bit longer, I do use hairspray, especially for a work day. So I might just gently put a little bit of a squirt of hairspray in there and you can just zhuzh it and play with it. But I like this for its waviness for my hair. It makes it look like I've got body. I feel it looks like my hair has body. It is soft. It doesn't feel frazzled and dry. And we are at a finished style of 9 minutes 21. So under 10 minutes to style my hair. I'm extremely, extremely excited that that's how quickly it can be done. I like the way my hair looks it doesn't look overly styled it's more of a tousled look i'll get around i know i don't get it perfect around the back but hopefully with a bit of practice i will but i i've had a couple of questions as to how long does the style hold for me and i did not expect this it actually holds all day and I'm just excited about that because my hair definitely has the tendency to drop and droop but I hold this style all day now what I'm going to do is I will insert a clip of, of how it's looking at the end of this day it is just before lunchtime as I'm filming this I will come back and do a quick clip of the hairstyle prior to bed and uh, you can judge for yourself how long the style lasts. Now bearing in mind I have shorter hair. If it was longer it probably would drop uh, a lot more than it has been but I am finding I'm really enjoying this. It holds this style for me at the moment. I am getting two days out of a hair wash and I've never done that in my life. I wash my hair on a daily basis because if I don't, by halfway through the following day, it really looks terrible. It looks like a greasy mess. It looks like I haven't taken any care with my hair and obviously I haven't. Um, it won't restyle any other way so I end up resorting to tying it back in a ponytail. Now I still tie this back on my second day but it looks fresh and intentional not like I'm trying to hide a bad hair day. It is still soft, it's not greasy and uh, my second hair day I'm really happy. I'm going to push it out and try for a third hair day which I think third hair day will definitely be a pulled back tight style but if it means I can take a little bit more care of my hair I'm going to try it but coming from a person who has always always washed my hair on a daily basis and sometimes twice a day like if I've gone to the gym I have to come home and wash my hair I have a couple of times, depending on the classes that I've done, have been able to loosely put my hair like this into a loose ponytail, do my gym class, try not to 
do too much after my gym class but let the roots dry and then the next morning I can put dry shampoo in my roots to freshen it up a little bit and I still get second day out of it whereas I could never do that before so I'm really enjoying it I like the definitely love the healthy look even though my hair is really pro color processed at the moment so I'm really enjoying this tool now I have played with a couple of other to other tools in this box just to let you know it comes with the hair dryer attachment I have tried that and it's great for just getting into the roots and giving them a bit of a dry so I'm I'm happy with that if I'm wanting more of a straighter style I have found I really enjoy the rounded brush so it just goes on like so and then I take sections of hair and blow dry all in a straight sort of rolling it under and I get quite a straightened hairstyle with this I think that suits me because when I blow dry my hair with my normal hair dryer I use a large barreled round brush like this to dry it out brush options here I have not used as yet but I think these will be perfect for someone with thicker or longer hair I am going to try them out but I've I've just been loving how my hair has been the last couple of weeks that I've really stuck to these barrels here and as I said I've tried this for one straightish sort of hair day and uh, I'm just loving this so I I really do hope you enjoyed that as I said it was pretty rough I don't do perfect sections I don't comb it out first I just pick up handfuls and use it round the barrel and it works for me because I'm usually doing my hair in the morning to be quick ready to go to work I'm not a morning person so the quicker I can get ready the better so that's why you, you saw little bits flying around but that's just how I do my hair I didn't want to pretend that I was something I'm not and try to do the perfect blow wave Okay, so it is 10.30 and I just wanted to pop back and show you how my hair looks after 11 hours of having it styled with the styler. And as you can see, it has held its curl, it hasn't dropped too much and it still looks voluminous and healthy and bouncy. So I am loving this tool. Now something else that I did want to say to you was that this is great for travel I have already been away for a weekend and I took the main piece and just these two barrels here to give the style and it was so easy to pack in my suitcase and I just popped it in my overnight bag that we had for the weekend and it was really easy to have that tool for drying and styling my hair I'm not so sure that if I was traveling for a weekend I would take this tool because I wouldn't want the bristles to get damaged but I would take the soft brush to straighten my hair and have a straight hairstyle by taking this one here so just wanted to let you know that it is really easy to take away if you are traveling as well I just wanted to sneak this in. This is day two of that same hairstyle, just showing that it is still a little bit of volume. I hope you found that informative and helpful. It is a very, very pricey product. I, as I said, I've taken a long time to make the decision to take the plunge to purchase this, but I am so happy I did. I am definitely a person if I have a crappy hair day I'm not in a good mood for the day and you're up front and center with your hair and that's just me I, I suppose it's a wee bit shallow but it does dictate to whether I feel good for the day or not 
so um really really happy if you did enjoy that guys please give it a thumbs up i would truly appreciate it please leave down below in the comment section any questions you may have that i may not have answered today but I really just wanted to, sh to share this with you. I did want to play with it for a couple of weeks before I put out a video. I've done a couple of really quick and short ones on shorts as I was learning to play with it. But I just felt that I needed to do a full video and share my experience of purchasing this very pricey product. I hope you all have a beautiful and a wonderful day guys and I hope I get to see you in my next video. See you later guys. Bye.